Ooh, a special pop news this morning in anticipation of the big Oscar day tomorrow. Sarah? The only red carpet I'm going to be on right now. Here we are. <laughs> First up, Lupita Nyong'o has been the star of the red carpet this award season, so we absolutely cannot wait to see what she wears on Oscar Sunday. And it seems she has plenty of options. The star of 12 Years a Slave says she's tried on so many dresses that she's lost count. Definitely more than 70 and possibly <laughs> wow, hundreds. Wow. Wow. The actress also revealed her Oscar Sunday prep, a deep tissue massage in the morning, and then she'll collaborate with her makeup artist and two hairstylists. But her absolute must-have is putting avocado oil on her skin. And yes, she has short hair, but her hairstyle keeps coming out and saying there's so much more we can do. So I'll be interested to see her hair as well. Avocado oil. That's, that's, only, that's good for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Coconut oil as well. No to self. Like a baby, yeah. Of course, the other big fashion moment we're holding out for is Pharrell's headwear. The big question, will he bring back the buffalo hat? Based on his recent red carpet appearances, the safe bet is most definitely. Since that now famous appearance of the hat at the Grammys, he's donned the same headpiece in an array of colors, including red, green, brown, and gray. I'm taking bets on yellow because it would tie in with the despicable me minions that are featured in his Oscar-nominated song, Happy, but crossing my fingers and hoping for pink. Just saying. And two <laughs> toddlers are becoming viral stars for their adorable take on this year's Best Picture nominees. Check them out. This is three-year-old Sophia doing her version of America, the American Hustle. And here she is with her two-year-old sister, Sadie, in the role of supporting actress in Dallas Buyers Club. Then there's 12 Years a Slave. Can't forget Gravity. And how adorable is she spoofing Joaquin Phoenix in her? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that they definitely beat the A-listers in cuteness. I think we'd all agree on that. Yeah, I would adorable. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. On that one. You would agree. But now we all know the Oscar winners get a shiny gold statue, but have you ever thought about the losers? Don't feel too badly for them. It turns out they walk away with a gift bag worth $85,000. Wow. 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 I might trade in my statue for that. <laughs> We've been lucky enough to get our hands on one before the celebs, so you'll see some things in here, like a luxury iPhone case that goes for $230. It uses French and Italian leathers, only the finest. $280 worth of pure maple syrup. That's a lot of syrup. Yeah. A cool yeah. way hair dryer. Apparently it uses extra so, airflow, mm -hmm. not heat, and it dries your hair in half the time. <laughs> a $70 wearable candle. You can melt it and use it as wearable? perfume or yeah. lotion. Oh, this is one. Yeah, so uh -huh. you can either light it or wear it. This is the wax. Yeah, right. That's it, not with every candle, it, so it, don't try that at home. Is it as good as avocado? Uh, <laughs> on? I love that you're listening yeah. to yeah. Dan. <laughs> but my favorite mm. thing ever, this is the coolest thing. Okay, so Ellen owns a, a pet food line and what she's doing is she's donating 10,000 meals to the shelter of a nominee's choice okay. in the big three categories which amounts to I think it's um, let me make sure I get this right okay maybe I'm not going to get it right um, 122 thousand dollars she's donating because wow. she's a big animal lover so I thought that would woo all of us here mm, yes, but to get really cool actually to get to the total here there's also a yeah. lot of gift certificates for flights around the world to Japan oh, wow. Hawaii okay. so you're only seeing parts does it all come in one bag I don't know how they'd fit that in the theater. I think a lot of it is like gift certificate. Yeah. Yeah. There are the number yeah. cruncher. Yes. Yes. They're yeah. never good at math, but great at pop news. And uh, you can see all the losers and winners tomorrow on ABC. Our own Robin Roberts go. and Larry Spencer will be co-hosting Oscars Red Carpet Live starting at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, followed by the Oscars themselves with host Ellen DeGeneres. And we'll be right back.